So Johnny, um, Pedal, you're looking forward to what will probably be quite a busy Easter weekend. Four games to go. How what you know? How the squad feeling in terms of where where the situation is? Do we still need some more points? Are we looking up the table, down the table? How you know? How how do we looking ahead of the ahead of uh, this I weekend? Think, yeah, we're definitely you know looking forwards in the table. We were you know we were always trying to do that. We're never trying to look behind us or uh, you know worry too much about what's going on behind us. It's I think it's always more important. To, to be positive and look forward and look up the table and uh, you know before last night we were sitting in 12th in the top half of the league although it is it is very tight that's you know that's our sort of aim is can we continue to to play well in these last four games and and push for that you know that last spot in the top half of the table and but obviously going into Friday we'll know obviously Peterborough game it's a game you know we, we want to try and get the points from yeah definitely you know we know as well that you know we're not pretending that we don't know that it is very tight uh, you know in that in that whole half of the bottom of the table and uh, we know that it's important to, to continue to pick up points. You, you're never safe until it is mathematically certain that you can't go down. So, you know, tomorrow's a, a great opportunity to, to get that sort of box ticked as quickly as possible. And is it any different there were an evening kick-off? Um, obviously the majority of the teams will be afternoon kick-off, so we'll know, you know, going into that game what, what a lot of the teams around us uh, have done. Will that be any different? Uh, yeah, possibly. Obviously, if we can, if we see that teams haven't got the results that they wanted down at the bottom of the table, then you know that maybe does give you that you know sort of extra kick and that incentive right before the kick off. We all know already how important it is, and we don't really need a lot of extra motivation. But it could be you know a good timing that you know one way or another we'll we'll maybe get that incentive right before we kick off that we know one way or another that the other teams have or haven't picked up points and and where that'll leave us if we can get the the win that we you know so desperately want. I think there's a lot of talk recently ahead of home games about obviously trying to bring you know, the good away form into matches at, at, at Valley Parade. Obviously, certainly from your point of view, I think it's, uh, it's four clean sheets out of the last five away games. That must be something, certainly from your point of view and as a team, that, that you know, we're trying to do, you know, get the away form into, into the home games. Yeah, it's sort of interesting that normally for a lot of teams it's the other way around, that you, know, you sort of bank on your home form and, and try and match that away. But for us it's been the other way around and you know, we don't know if that's, you know, obviously when we go away we're... We try to be, you know, more solid, or you know, we don't, we don't look to, to push on, you know, as, as hard as we do at home. But for whatever reason, yeah, we have been lacking that home form that we've, you know, sort of been renowned for over the last few seasons. You know, we'd really made Valley Parade that that fortress that we that we, you know, so so really needed. And uh, yeah, it was it's disappointing that of late it's not been that case at home. But we uh, we've got sort of a couple of games now uh, against good sides to to hopefully uh, put that right. Mm -hmm.